What's going on everybody? Although this video may seem silly because it may seem like a no brainer. I remember thinking the same thing when I was first looking into learning how to code and wondering what I needed to know to become a programmer or to start learning how to code. And I honestly didn't know if I needed to know how to type or not. I've always been a pec typer. I've never learned touch typing before learning how to code. And I was a little concerned that that would be a requirement and that I would need to know a certain words per minute in order to get a job as a programmer. You always see it in the movies where you got that hacker that's just typing away at the computer and their screen's going crazy with 100 terminal windows open and they're just hacking away 200 words per minute. And you see the reflection of the text scrolling past their glasses and, and they're just in it and they're sweating and they're typing away and that's literally not at all how it is when you're a programmer. You type one line and then you type another line and then it doesn't work so you delete that and then you copy one block of code to another block of code and you're moving stuff around on the screen and you're not just typing the whole time. That's like Hollywood stuff. I just wanted to make a quick video about this because when I first started learning how to code I was really worried that if I didn't know how to type I wouldn't be able to get a job. And the truth is that you don't need to know how to type to code but it's obviously going to make your job a lot easier. And when I was learning how to code, I would take between 15 and 30 minutes a day when I had a little bit of downtime. I wouldn't do it every day, but I would practice typing just because I knew that it would make me more productive as a programmer. As I was learning, I was realizing that pec typing was just not going to cut it if I wanted to do this as a career. And I just want to share a few of the resources that I used to learn how to type when I was learning how to code. One of the reasons that I'm making this video is because I'm actually practicing my touch typing again because I've been working from home so much, I don't have the convenience of just getting up and going and asking one of my colleagues a question at their desk. I have to send emails and instant messages and everything's digital now. So my typing speed being 30 to 40 words per minute just doesn't seem to cut it for my productivity. And although you don't need to be a fast typer to write code it obviously it's going to help you and it's going to make you you know get stuff done quicker it's really convenient to know how to type fast when you have to respond to emails and when you have to respond to instant messages and when you're just on the computer all day the faster you type obviously the more productive you're going to be all right so one of the first resources that i used was typing.com i didn't jump right into touch typing because I honestly didn't even know how to type without looking at the keyboard and using all my fingers and finger placement and keyboard layout. I, I had no concept of this and I've been around computers for a long time, but I just never had the need to learn how to type. I never worked an office job where I needed to answer emails and correspond with people over text. So I never had a need to learn. Anything I was doing with computers, pec typing got the job done until I started looking into becoming a programmer. So I didn't even know what touch typing was when I started looking into learning how to type. Typing.com has a bunch of different levels and they have games that you can play. And I started there as a complete beginner and I learned the home row and I learned where all the keys were at. And I really used that resource to get me comfortable with knowing where everything was on a keyboard without having to look at it. But once I felt comfortable enough to where I knew keyboard layout and I knew how to type, you know, barely 15 words per minute, I started looking into touch typing because everything I read was that's the best way to get good at typing fast and to make you a better typer and increase your words per minute. And that's when I found keybr.com and I found it because many people recommended it and it's a great resource to learn how to type. I increased my typing speed to about 40 words per minute and recently I've been using it again because I'm trying to increase my typing speed to at least 60 words per minute and I might as well take an opportunity to improve in areas where I feel that I could be more productive if I learned something. And that's the main resource that I use once I learn the basics of typing from typing.com and there's a bunch of different resources out there that you can find for free. If you want to learn how to type, you shouldn't have to pay any money. These, this day and age, just find a website that teaches you typing, put on an ad blocker so you, you don't get like spammed with ads when you're trying to learn how to type. And then just take 20 minutes a day. You know, it doesn't take a lot of time. You, you dedicate 20 minutes a day and in a couple months, you'll actually be a lot better of a typer. And that's all I did when I was learning how to code. I didn't focus on typing. It's not like I said, all right, I'm going to dedicate an hour a day to typing until I get to 100 words per minute because I didn't find that necessary. But 
I really needed to stop looking at the keyboard when I was just trying to write some stuff on the screen and follow along with tutorials and building my own projects. It was just nice to not have to peck at the keyboard with two fingers looking for every key. And that's it. This, this was going to be a quick video. I know that there's a lot of people that ask this question. I asked this question and I hope this video helps someone find the resource that they can use and lets them know that they don't need to be the world's fastest typer to be a programmer. And starting off as a peck typer is fine when you're learning how to code. Just consider learning how to type, you know, down the road if you decide to continue with this and start thinking about becoming a professional programmer and getting a job. If you're going to be writing emails all day, you're going to be messaging people all day, you're going to be writing comments on code, you're going to be writing comments on code review. You don't want to be there and have someone ping you and ask you a simple question and you need to respond to them and it takes you, you know, two, three minutes just to type out a couple sentences. And 30 or 40 words per minute is perfectly fine. And the more you type, the better you'll get at it. So don't let not knowing how to type prevent you from learning how to code. Get out there, learn how to code, and then learn how to type. Really, if you can learn how to code, learning how to type is not that hard. Seriously. All right, with all that said, I'm gonna end this video. I hope if somebody had this question and they stumbled upon this video, they found that helpful. If you did, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more tips on becoming a self-taught programmer and learning how to code. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.